right, so this is part two of how to draw Disney style eyes. It's a new day. I got a little bit of sleep, so uh, we're just going to draw some eyes. If you didn't see the first video, go ahead and uh, go back and watch part one. Um, I just draw a bunch of eyes, and um, I show you kind of my technique and my way of thinking. And in this video, we're just going to do more eyes. So you don't have to watch the first one, but, uh, you know, double your pleasure if you watch the first one. Double your pleasure? Really? Anyway, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's make your characters expressive and uh, draw some eyes. So, the first thing that I would do, I'm just going to stretch that smile out so that it's a bit absurd, because it's a character. And you can do that. So, so that for this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to do that dome like I normally do. And then I'm going to sort of cone it. So there's our like dome again. That I always do. So there's like the dome. And the other one would be... The other dome would be there. So now that we have the dome, it actually doesn't need it doesn't need this line here. So I'm just gonna make this I'm gonna erase this line because it doesn't really need it. Since it's like, since the eye is is facing forward, this line wouldn't, you know, this wouldn't come all the way down here. It would sort of be, sort of be here. That kind of thing. It's my little thing. Give him a bigger, bigger little satellite dish eye socket. So that's not bad. See, I'm wondering if if I should even make it rounder because it's it's facing forward. I liked how it looked before. I think that looks a little better. So We'll give him that that black kind of iris. And we'll give him another give him another layer here. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so this eye is about here. I'm going to start with our circle again. And this time, should we try him with his mouth open? Let's see what happens. I 
Let's see. So his mouth kind of would be... Something like that, right? Kind of. I probably have like... Something like that. So let's make him... Let's do one of my favorites where, first of all, let's do the, uh, let's do the dome thing. So, his fat cheek would be there. The isolation that I always talk about would be somewhere around here. If this is the center line, then it would be something like that. And then his eye would sit here. So we're just going to follow this line. And then we're going to do an arc. Like we have been doing. But it doesn't need to be like almond shaped. It could be, but we're gonna make it. See, this one is like this, so we're gonna make that one like this. something different all right try something else so let's see what it looked like let's see what it looked like when when we make it a more almondy more round Let's make him... Should we make him upset? We'll make him upset. And the way that I... The, the reason why I did his eyes like this is because... If they're... Since they're coming out facing forward... You, you wouldn't see his whole, since he's profile, you wouldn't see the whole front part of his eye. So. I'm a little upset.
make him a little angry. Give him some eyebrows to really sell it. You know, make him look really evil. All right, let's try some other kind of eyes. Let's see. All right, so do the dome thing again. You do the small irises, it's like you're really like focused on something. The smile actually looks a bit weird for this one. So he actually looks like he'd be quite gutted as they say in the UK. He looks like he's gutted about something. And you don't always have to follow the anatomy, like I said in the other video. Like, if you want to... Sometimes it just looks better to have... to have both eyes present. Looks kind of cool. I'll save that one too. I will right, we'll try one more. We'll try it with his eyes closed. Okay, so. So I was here. Does that look right? Big crazy smile. Oh, that's a little too big. Big smile. And we'll kind of do the same thing with the dome. We'll start it here. It's like 4.20 a.m., so I gotta go to bed soon. So, I got a little bit, I'll finish this up before I charge my Apple Pencil that's trying to die on me. Let's make the bottom, I don't do a lot of bottom lenses, so we'll do that for this one. Let's have them looking up, so. I'll make this really thick line here. And we'll do this one too. Cone, same sort of thing. And you want to make sure these are the same like plane. You know, like you don't want to make you don't want to make it too forward or too low. You just kind of want to make it the same. The 
the same angle. Let's give him some. Give him some high eyebrows. You know, make like he's looking. You know, like he's looking at some little bug or something, but yeah, so, you know, that's pretty fun. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of options. This one's really fun. Oops. Yeah, so you know, just experiment and uh, like I said in the other video, it's really just experimenting and you know, stick with that dome shape. You know, stick with that dome shape and just stick with circles. You know, whatever animal, doesn't matter what, what sh size or shape, you know, just make the center line and make those big eye sockets. If you make the eye sockets, you know, then you have a base. So then you can go inside and you can And you can do the arc. You know, and then... And then you can just do lines. And they really give your... They really give them a, a character. I'm really sorry, this is a really ugly, I don't know what I did here. I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I did that nose. Actually looks actually looks like a really cute little fish. Kind of. I just messed it up, but make it a little snorkel or something. My buddy Chad was making snorkels, so now I'm I'm gonna make a little snorkel. But anyway. But yeah, it really all comes down to that line. That's how you do your... your expression. You know? I know I'm talking to you like you're here. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go to bed. Hope you got something useful out of this. Hope you enjoyed it. I think that was it. This is the one I did as like a test before I did the video, but I love them. Shout out to Dreamer Exotics. 
loving all the amphibians and reptile photos. They're just like pretty amazing. So shout out. Go follow them on Instagram. I'm a fan. All right. I think we'll we'll call it quits. Wait, where's my favorite one? Where's my favorite one? That's my favorite one. So we'll call it quits on this screen. And good night. Some eyes. I actually already drew them last night, but I'm going to pretend like I'm getting to business. Cut. Get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. It's embarrassing, I know. W a pleasure? Really?